This is a short little video. This is a short little video just to show, um, just to actually explain, I mean, uh, what the numbers mean on a tire that are important. So here's our tire size. It says 225-65-R16. Okay, so what this means, the 225 here, all right, means that from this edge, let's do it down here, this edge right here, the tread, all the way across the tire to this edge of the tread, across there in width, is 225 millimeters. The 65 is called the aspect ratio number. So we have a sidewall height right here, and we have our width from edge of tread to edge of tread across the tire. What this 65 is telling us is that this height uh, measurement is 65% of this width measurement. So the height is 65% of the width on this tire. The R means radial, and that is the construction style underneath the rubber here of the nylon and steel belts that are going from one end of the one side of the tire across the sidewall, across the tread surface and across the other sidewall to the bead, which is the inner part of the tire that touches the rim itself. And then 16 in this case for this tire means this tire will fit a 16 inch rim. So notice I said inches there, yet with this number it was millimeters. So a tire makes use of metric and imperial. Now there are other measurements on, sorry, not measurements, but other ratings on tires um, in regards to temperature, uh, speed, but this is the important one that you're gonna have to take notice of. And the only other thing we should point out is the, when it says um, maximum pressure here, it says maximum pressure on this tire is 51 PSI. Now that's the maximum. You never run your tires at the maximum. So when you gotta put air in a tire, don't look at the rating on here. You're gonna come across to the door and it will say on the door what the recommended pressure should be. And in this case, I'll point out to you, uh, 36. It's saying front and rear tires on this vehicle are supposed to be set at 36 PSI for normal driving. So that's just you and another passenger, uh, not a lot of weight in the vehicle. But if you were gonna really load this thing up and you're going to the airport and you're picking up like five other people, all their luggage, 36 would not be enough in here. So we would pump it up a little more, closer to that maximum. But never set your tires to the maximum unless you're putting the maximum into this vehicle, okay? It, if you put too much air, it's gonna make it balloon outwards in the center of the tread and it's gonna wear down the center of the tread only. If you don't have enough air in your tire and you run it that way too long, what's gonna happen is the two far edges here of your tire are going to wear down and the center will be fine. If you have an alignment issue where the tire, the, the, uh, the geometry of the, of the suspension and the steering is off, um, you're gonna end up with a strange tire wear pattern where maybe just one edge will be worn. So maybe just the inner edge or maybe just the outer edge. Okay, so that's an indication of an alignment problem. Um, you'll also know you have an alignment problem if when you're turning the steering wheel to keep the vehicle going straight, maybe you have to have the steering wheel at a bit of a strange angle rather than having the center bar nice and straight. You're having to like pull it over just to go straight and if you let go, the vehicle swerves one way or the other. Okay, that's a good sign of an alignment issue also. So that is some basics when it comes to tires, okay?